I'm Woody. And I'm Frank. And welcome to Chasing Legends of the Superstition Mountains. Actually, all my life, I wanted to prospect. You watch TV and you see all these people get rich with gold and the gold rush and all that. And uh, when I finally come to Arizona, back about 1969 or something like that, I uh, was living in an apartment, a uh, duplex, next to another, the guy that was a prospector. He was an old man. And uh, it really got my interest up really fast. I mean. He told me one day that he's going to go uh, prospecting, and I'm going, really? Can I go too? Because <laughs> I wanted to go. I wanted to learn. And uh, so he took me. He took me out to the uh, Bumblebee area, back at Bumblebee Ghost Town back in there. We went camping back there and did some prospecting. And he really, really wasn't that good of a prospector because he saved all his black sand. And I couldn't understand that, but he had buckets and buckets of black sand. But he, uh, he taught me, you know, something, and I got started. But I learned everything wrong, and then over time, with some other help, I learned how to prospect, and then it became much more valuable. I did a lot of prospecting out in the superstitions, a lot, because I lived in Mesa, so it made it nice. I, you know, I never looked for the Lost Dutchman Mine or any of that stuff for years, not until I met Wayne and everybody. Uh, I always just went out to go prospect and enjoyed it. I loved it out there. You know, I, I wouldn't trade it for all the money in the world what I've done and what I've learned, you know, in the prospecting business. I've been doing this since 1970, and I'm going to do it till I die. It, uh, it's the greatest thing in the world, as far as I'm concerned. It's uh, great for family. It's great exercise. It's just Plus, now you teach prospecting. Yeah, I teach prospecting. I, I, uh, probably get more out of teaching prospecting now than I do actually going out and prospecting for myself because I want everybody that I to learn what I've learned I, I, you know I want them to learn how to do it properly I want them to be able to find the goal you know so it, it makes a lot of difference and to me my biggest thrill now is to teach people how to find gold uh, if somebody wanted to get into prospecting I would talk them in and let me give them a class I, so I can teach them how to do it properly. There's millions of people that can't prospect and think they can. And millions of people lose gold every day because they don't know what they're doing. They were taught wrong. And so I've gone through quite an ordeal to learn what I've learned. And many, many ways. I've changed many different things in, in panning and in, in, in prospecting. So, but I would tell somebody that it's the greatest thing in the world. You, you can't have any more fun outside at doing anything outside, as far as I'm concerned, than prospecting. It's the thrill of find. When I see the look on somebody's face when they when they find their first goal, they light up like a five-year-old at Christmas time. I don't care how old they are; it's all the same. So, you know, to me, my life now is is, is more of teaching. I want to teach people how to prospect. I want to teach people how to find gold. And when I'm gone, they can teach other people what I've taught them. Just kind of carry that legacy. That's what. That's what it's all about for me now.